Hello there guys, Fusion Master here. Um, today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a platform type game uh, based around the uh, Terraria style, pretty much uh, 2D Minecraft. So uh, let's hop right in. Um, first off, new application. I'm going to start one up. And you're going to make sure that the show grid and that the snap to grid uh, properties are uh, enabled over here. You're also going to want to increase this size of the frame a lot. Now uh, it all depends on how large you want it, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to make mine pretty large. I want a pretty big world here. So I'm going to make this... You know, let's make this... Yeah, that's good. How, much, how big is that? Wow, okay, that's, that is very, okay. I feel like it should be a bit longer and less uh, deep, so like at 3,000. And this, 5,000. 6,000. Okay. So, yeah. And then I did the opposite, didn't I? I sure did. There we go. Much better. Okay. So, uh, let's make this ground level right here. That's good. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what you want to start out by doing is uh, we are going to want some ground. <laughs> so, let's just grab a... Uh, pre-made ground thing for us. Place that right in there. Now we're going to need to resize this so it is the size of one of these blocks you have here. Uh, it doesn't need to be exact, but I mean, you know, that's good. And uh, now that we have this snap to grid feature on, this block is just going to snap to the grid. Nice like that. So, uh, that's good. But uh, we're also going to want a dirt block. So, let's just grab that, copy that over, insert a new object, and make that. Okay, let's resize this so that it is similar size to this block. What's the uh, height on this? 36. And this is 36, 36, perfect. Um, so make sure all blocks in the future that you make, whether it's stone or whatever, uh, make sure they're 36 by 36. Or whatever you want, really. You can alter the grid by going to grid setup up here and making the width. Oh, wait. Here, perfect. Uh, I just didn't know this this, this easy. It's perfect. I can level it so it's exactly fitting. Um... So you make it, you know, whatever width you'd like. Uh, I think 36 by 36 is just fine for what we're doing here. So, uh, I don't really, not, yeah, I'm not really going to do that heaven stuff. It's really an underground type of game. Maybe like a mining game. Uh, less of a, uh, I don't know I said Terraria. And you can do whatever you want with this, but really I'm not interested in getting the building aspects of this. I think it's more going to be like a mining game. You just go down but just mine a bunch of materials or something. What am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, okay. So we have our two blocks here. We're going to keep it at that for now. So what we're going to do now here is a little trick. Let's just make the first layer of our world uh, just grass. So we could do what I was doing there and just drag out like this, but that takes forever, so we're not going to do that, obviously. Instead, what we're going to do is use a little trick called the paint mode. We're going to click on the paint mode and click on the ground object up here. And now you have your ground object and you can paint it. See? Now I don't want that up there, so let's click that out. But uh, you can pretty much just uh, go in a row here and nice and easy. So this is very convenient. 
and you want to do this for the entire top row here. Okay, once you're finished filling that, I'm going to go to your dirt and make mm, just a nice layer of dirt. So, I'm going to name that dirt in a second, but for now, it's good as active. So, like, that's good. That's good. And then everything below that can be uh, stone or whatever the heck. Uh, you know, some ores in there, probably. And then, of course, let's make some blotches of dirt underground as well. So, we're going to just fill this out entire area in. I believe we could just copy this over so we don't have to do all this work. Uh, so, for example, here, get a nice block of dirt, this little square here, or rectangle, and then get out of paint mode. Then just highlight that, copy, and paste that sucker over. That is not what we want to do here. Paste it to here. There we go. See? And then we just do right here, and on and on until you filled up that area as well. Okay. Now, once you filled up your area with all that dirt, you're going to want to uh, probably add a stone block down here. So I'm going to check in here and see what I can find for stone. I know there are some nice ones here. Because I've uh, rooted through this before. Uh, you could use this. I'm not going to use that though. I like uh, just like the cartoonish kind of stone. And I will tell you when I find it. Or Google Images could come to our help here. Okay, so something like this works just fine. We're going to copy that image, head on over here, and insert an active. I forgot to do this, but let's rename this active dirt. Okay, now this active we're going to call stone. And make sure that this is 36 by 36. Paste in, oh, write this. Uh, well, we can always just resize it, I suppose. 36, 36. There we go. Nice block of stone. Uh, and just fill the stone up. Uh, it's pretty self explanatory. Fill the stone up just down to here, you know, whatever. And then you can add, like, open areas where you can put ores or whatever the heck, you know. So, fill up this entire area down to the base with stone. Okay, now once you've done that, got your world here. Uh, once you've done that, what you're going to want to do now is, as you can see, when you come here to run a frame, up here in the corner, you should get this thing, and it's going to say a thousand objects on it. Now, this pretty much means that uh, in your frame, you have a thousand objects, a thousand of these blocks. Now, obviously, that's not true. You have way more than a thousand here. I mean, you, you don't need to be... You can just glance at this and clearly tell that there's a lot here. The reason that it says a thousand is because Click the Infusion automatically sets the uh, amount of um, blocks, black amount of active objects you're allowed to have in a frame to a thousand. Uh, and if it goes over that, it'll delete objects. You don't want that to happen, so... For this, you're going to want to head to frame 1 and head over to the runtime options. Go down to here, it says number of objects, set that to 20,000. And that should work. Yep. Okay, uh, that about concludes today's tutorial on terrain of the uh, Terraria area. Hmm. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please uh, ask for more. Give me other tutorials you'd like me to do and click Team Fusion. This wasn't a very code-based tutorial. Uh, I will get into the coding uh, for this Terraria game uh, in later episodes. Uh, but this was, you know, there's no coding at all. So um, if you'd like me to, to do something, some kind of tutorial uh, based around uh, Fusion, I'd be happy to. Check it out, um, and uh, that's about all for now. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Fusion Master Five Four Four Three, and thanks for watching.